Let's check in with Department of Sanitation Commissioner Ed Grayson. Ed, first of all, our hats off to you. Your crews have been absolutely superstars today. We've seen them no matter what street you are on in the city. You, you see one of the sanitation crews. Did you have to bring in more crews to actually have such a big presence and do such a great job today? Or, or are you working with the existing staff? No, we're working with our existing staff. In the middle of an event like this, we'll, we'll have everybody working. We're a full force agency. Additionally, today, we did get additional plow support help from DOT and uh, the Parks Department. They gave us a few extra plows. But for the most part, it's all us, and we're just working extended tours, 12-hour days, trying to cover all the ground in the city. Hey, Ed, uh, you know, the big question you guys always get is when are you getting to those tertiary or secondary or whatever you call them, the third, second and third degree roads? Uh, the highways were even looking good when I was driving in around uh, 9 30 10 o'clock this morning uh, what about those people that we hear from frequently in the outer boroughs who say hey um, the back streets haven't gotten a single plow yet are you hearing from anyone that what I know you measure this much more carefully now yeah, we, we, we're, we're making really good progress into those residential routing pockets. And there's always going to be, you know, a subjective view whether or not, you know, people want to see more plowing. We're doing really good on first and second passes. The key thing with a storm like this, it's been snowing for so many hours, it's only finally starting to taper off. So we just ask those homeowners to have patience, but we're certainly making the rounds, and you're going to see plows tonight. We're making progress through every route in the city. Ed, we've been talking a lot about the few drivers who are out. We've been seeing more and more drivers sometimes they can make your guys life a little bit difficult can you sort of give a message to our viewers about how important it is to stay out of the way of the plows well, thank you. Yes, you know, it's really important for people to heed the messaging. You know, the city put out a good travel advisory, and basically, if you're seeing a sanitation truck working, we have wide turning radiuses, we're trying to go slow, and visibility was really, really poor today at the height of the winds. You know, you're trying to do something slow and safe, so if you, if you can avoid being on the road when we put out those advisories, that'd be really helpful. And if you have to travel because it's essential or critical for you, please take extra time, and more importantly, give extra room when you see the sanitation truck or the plows out there. And Ed, uh, finally, if you uh, do you have any timeline where you think, and I know as you said, it's all often very difficult to tell people exactly when everything will be plowed at least once. Uh, can you give any timeline on that? I think we're going to see fully plowed streets a little later this evening um, where we've have made at least a pass. The key thing for everyone to think about now is you're going to have Coupled with the fact that it's really, really cold, you're going to have some residual uh, snow in the roads. It's going to take time for the calcium chloride and the salt to, to really do its job because we're not going to get much help from Mother Nature, and we're certainly not going to get much help on the overnight because it's just going to get colder and darker. Tomorrow is when you're going to start to really see and feel it, but we're going to be working all night, applying the salt and the calcium chloride all night, and more importantly, keep widening the roadways because people are going to come out. They're going to start to dig out their cars. We want to ask people try to not to throw it back into the roadway, but just do the best you can and have patience. We're coming. Ed Grayson, thank you so much. And again, please send our thanks to your entire yeah. crew. They've just been knocking it out of the park today. Great job. Thank you so much. Yeah, shout out to you and your drivers, Ed. Thanks very much.